Hey everybody, this is your friendly California Mojave gardener coming here for with you today. Um, I've already cleared my area. Now I'm going to put down the grass mats and then I'm going to put the tent up. Um, luckily I have some help today. You're going to see the sun go in and out on my camera. I'm really sorry about that. But now I have to clear it of Rufus's dog poop because he decided to leave me a little present. He thinks the clearing out space is for him. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. Y'all don't need to see the me getting up the dog poop, right? All right. Be right back. Oh, like my hat? I got this hat for my dad, for my grandfather in recognition of my grandfather fighting in the war. So yeah, I didn't have another hat, so I had to put this one on. You know, I'm gonna go put this one back up and I'm gonna get one of my other hats because I gotta wash them anyway. All right, let's get this party started. All right, that's cleared. So I'm gonna need these, hammer, and I have two of these. And I'm going to put them down. Um, also, as you can see, I took a glue gun in one of my previous videos. And I showed that I glued a weed controller on the underside. This part is going to be on the ground. And a nice, soft, supple part is going to be up. So we're going to get that started now. Let's do it. Let's put it. Okay, so this one over here. Let me go get the other one in there. We'll figure out what we're going to do. Let me bring you down so you can actually see. There you go. Another reason I want to hurry up and get this up is so Rufus don't think it's grass and it's okay to pee and poop on. That would be my second reason. <laughs> Move, Ruth. All right, let's see. There we go. And you just kind of out exactly where you want to actually put this. Huh. Oh. So I can put them a long ways because they're six by eight, but I'm thinking maybe the eight foot should go this way. Huh. So you have to kind of figure out how you want it. I'll come back once I figure it out and we can move on. All right, what I had to go do, sorry about that, I had to take somebody's stuff. Um, one mat is six by eight. So it's six by eight. Now I have the two mats together. If this is going to be where the door entrance is. I'm trying to make the decision that if I should sit, sit them right next to each other. So now it's 12 by 8. Or should I turn them around and dub them like one here and one there just to let you know. So instead, they'll look like this, and they'll be 6 by 16 feet. Trying to see which I'm going to do. 
I still didn't cut off that little bit, but I'll cut that off later. Um, so what we're going to do now is to help me make my decision. We have gone to, let me make sure you guys can see. Yeah, we have, uh, he's bringing the tent out. So we can see how big the tent actually is because I lost the measurements on that, that tent. Bag? Yes. The long black bag that's open. Is it the brown thing in it? Uh-huh. That's the green house? No, that's the tent. Bring the tent. Bring that whole whole black bag. So that's what we're gonna try to figure out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just woke up. So we'll bring you back when we get it set up to figure out what's what. Because I do know that I'm going to need maybe one or two more tents. I mean, two more mats. So, in estimating, I know I'm going to need two more mats. I am going to end up pushing these mats back further. So, then I can put the other two mats here. So, then that way, whoo, it will still give me, it will still give me, it will give me 12 feet, but instead of giving me 16, no, it will give me, instead of 12 by 8, it will give me 12 by 16. I'll have four of them, basically in a rectangle form. I just got to make my mind if I want to. Keep them like this or if I want to go ahead and turn them the other way. So in order for us to make that accountability out, we're bringing out the tent and we're just going to stretch it out right where it was. We're not going to lift it up yet. We're just going to stretch it out to see what it's running on all four sides. I think it's 12 by 12, but I could be wrong. So that's what we need to find out. All right, we're going to test this thing out, and we'll let you know. All right, everybody, I definitely have to go get me two mats, but I do believe that I can get this all, get at least my tent up. So what I did was I turned my mats around, and I backed my mats up. And they're closer to this wall right here. Okay? So... I did back it up quite a bit. What I'm going to do, I have this one and I have that one. Right now, the way it's running is long ways here is eight feet. This is six feet. But since I have one mat here and one mat here, right now it's running eight by 12. So... What I plan to do is go ahead and get me two more mats, and I'm going to put those right there. And then it's going to be running 12 by 16, okay? 16, 16 is going to be the long length, and then 12 is the short length. All right? Now, who is hot out here? Make sure you have your sunglasses on and your cap and... If you use sunscreen, I advise you to put it on. If you take, uh, I didn't take my allergy meds. That was smart, wasn't it? All right. And if you take allergy meds, you might want to put that on. All right. So let me bring you down here. And I'm going to show you how to stake these in. Get out of here. These bugs. Okay. First of all, these are my stakes. Okay. They're... I can't see into the TV, into the camera, but they're four, four by one inch, one inch, four, or it might be three. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say on the package, but it does have like a little sharp end on there. So all I'm going to do 
is tack this sucker in and uh, make sure you bring a hammer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go about right here. I think oh, right here would be good. All right, so I'm just gonna tack it in. There it goes, going down. Be careful if you got any piping or anything down there. If you're not sure and you're going straight down, as soon as you hit up against something, which makes it a little harder to get down, you might want to go in diagonally. Which, see how easy I can pull them out? I think I will go in diagonal. You're like, Angela, which way are you going? I'm going to go this way because if the wind blow, I, don't, I want it to tighten up and not loosen up. If you go this way in there, then it could be a chance that the wind will blow so hard, it'll pull it up. So if I go this way, it won't be able to do that. So, sorry my hands are in the way, but... Let's get her in there. First, I'm going to have to go straight in to make that hole. Okay, are you in there? Yeah. Then what I'm doing is I'm pushing it forward with my hand to make this the bottom part slant this way. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Usually your wiring and everything is about what anywhere from six inches to a foot under and you don't know where the original dirt line was before oh and this does get wider before you uh before anybody moved here because you know dirt does settle your house settles your yard settle all right so i'm good see i'm good Look how much bigger that was. So, after that, you go over to the middle. Where, you know, it's hot sitting on this thing. Oh, come along with me, y'all. Now, that's why I say you permanently figure out where your line is going to be all them crunchies you hear is all the grass especially the grass the weeds and dirt and grass that I put weed killer on all right let's take you around here like my socks I am a sock collector now, you do want to overlap, but just a bit, not by too much. What's that? Mm. And see this part here? Let me make sure you guys can see. Ooh. This part here is going to overlap on top because when I walk in, when I walk in like this, in, into my tent I'm perfectly fine but say that it was reversed it was like this if I walk into my tent I'm going to trip over that so the closest area to the entrance you want to make sure that overlaps with your back then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in 
right there, right about here. Okay, it gives you half and half. All right, let's go ahead and do that one. Don't forget to slint. You got to get it in there first. So take it straight. When you know it's in there, push it forward a bit. Watch your fingers. That way, so it'll start slanting. It'll go in diagonal. It is diagonal, but it's slight, but it is diagonal. Down, down, down we go. All right, it's in there. And if you ever get ready to move and you or something, you need to pull it up. Use the back part, boop, comes right out. All right, I'm going to do this other one, and we're going to continue to get her going. All right. I should be back in a moment. Oh, and hey, if you have not liked, subscribed, or hit that notification bell, go ahead and hit it and send my... Uh, my videos, share them. Send them to other people who want to start gardening. Oh, and if you don't know, is the sun behind me? Yes. Let me turn because I wanted to tell you something. Just found out that there was a recall for salad mixtures. Something's going on with the lettuce. So I think it's better that you just go ahead and... Uh, and drop some lettuce seed and just grow your own. That's what my plan to do. That's why I'm setting up my own. You can call it a hot tunnel. You can call it a high tunnel. But I'm setting up my own because I can't afford to pay like fifteen, ten to fifteen thousand dollars for one. So if you have a little canopy, the ones that pop up, you can set your own up. Just put a mosquito net in it. And put your tarp and you got your own but we're gonna continue I'll be right back all right now just like you did this one right here that combined the two you're gonna go and you're gonna put another one in then you're gonna put another one then you're gonna put another one I would say put them about a foot apart for now and then when you get all four sides all four mats in, determine if you wanna put more in between, like every six foot. Um, if you're not putting up any more mats, then by all means, go ahead and tack down all four sides. But I am gonna be putting up more mats. So I am gonna do this middle that combines the two and then that, that's all I'm gonna do. Then I am going to go and see if I can get my uh, tent set up. All right, and we'll be back. As you can see, I staked down along here. Now, this is gonna be inside the tent, the seam. So if you don't wanna take the chance in trying to stake it down, you can just get you some really good tape and you can just tape it down, which is fine. Either or, stake it or get you some, I would say get you some green tape or some clear tape and tack it down with it. Some really good tape that you know it's going to be down and it's going to stay down. All right. So, I have... One more over here to put in. One of them I couldn't get in, so I'm guessing that there's a pipe under here. So I'm gonna try staking in one more about right here. <sighs> These bugs are getting on my nerves. So we're gonna go tap, tap, slant. See how easy it's going in? My other one I did went in kind of hard, 
it wouldn't even go in. So that tells me that that must have been a pipe right there. So I just took it out. And just, I'm just not going to put one in right there. It doesn't have to be in there triple tight. Okay? Because you want to leave some to be able to pull it out if you need to. Which I did have to pull one out. Now, when I get up the, the, um, go bring it down. Can you see this? What I'm pointing at? I hope so. So, let's make sure. All right. So, when I get the other two rows, it's going to have four corners. So, instead of tacking, 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 and tacking, I'm only going to use either two of these or I can just use tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack from this one to the one that's opposite. Everybody's gonna meet right here. So I'm gonna tack in a crisscross here and then I'm gonna tack here. All right? These ants, whew, can't wait to get my stuff up. All right, and um, I'm going to tack one on each side. Hello. Let me show you. Okay, so I have one there, one on that corner, and one on that corner. Well, I'm going to put one right there in the middle at the edge, and one right there at the middle at the edge. Because our winds are something else. That wind will come through, bank shot off this, and blow your whole canopy into a whole nother yard. So, uh, get my glasses here so I can see y'all. Turn y'all around, get you out of the sun. There we go. So, that's my plan. So, right now, I got a little bit of change left. Um, I'm going to go get two more. And I'm going to set those up. These are actually quite cushiony because I'm sitting on it. It's quite cushiony. So I'm going to go get two more. I'm going to set them up. There's a big mound right there that I'm going to take up with my, uh, with my shovel because I don't have a hula hole. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll bring you back in another video. You guys know how to set up canopies, like when you go to the park to have a party at the park and you want to get your food and stuff out of the sun. So I'm guessing that you guys know how to put that up. You just put it up as regular. You sit it that smack wherever you want it on your little area and you just raise it and then you just stake it down into the ground and I have extra stakes for extra little holes. So we're gonna get that done and then all I have to do is go get cedar blocks, which I found out, these bugs are getting on my nerves, which I wanna talk to you guys about real quick. Um, I found out that it's cheaper to go to the big box stores to get them. I found that eight inch where uh i don't know how long they are but i know the depth is eight inches which is perfect and the square is a pretty big size square hollowed out in the middle It's two sections that is hollowed out so you can put uh you can put like things like um green onions, leeks, uh, garlic, shallots. You can put it all along that side, and that's what I plan to do. And then any you can put uh, car carrots in there because it's eight inches in depth. So if you, have, if you get seeds for the small carrots, you should be able to do it. Stevia, um, what else? I got basil, I got thyme, I got sage i got cilantro i got um uh 
parsley, flat, flat parsley, that can all grow up in little small areas and just go around. But once I get one, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But I do want to go get the other two mats for this. And then I'll come back in a second video to show you what it looks like once you get your tent set up. All right. So I basically told you everything you need to know. Um, the, uh, the cedar blocks you're going to grow in. So instead of buying pots, you're going to use cedar blocks. Um, this does wick out water. So the water just does leak out underground. These mats are perfect. They kind of feel like felt, but they're perfect to use. So I will bring you back then. You don't have to have four mats. You can have three mats. You can have two mats. You can have one mat. That's pretty much up to you. Long as you um, secure it underneath a tent, but prepare to purchase a growth light, which you can also get from the big box stores. And um, I'll bring you back and let you know how much I paid for what. All right. All righty. These here. I got 75 they were like $4.98 from Lowe's. I'm telling the names of, of the stores because I know what the price is. That's what I paid for them. Yeah, right in the garden section. So, you shouldn't have a problem with finding them and purchasing them if you, if you want to. All right. I shall be back later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You're gonna hit the like button because you're gonna um, you're gonna let me know if you like the the video, if it was helpful. You're gonna hit the subscribe button to support the channel so I can keep making videos. And you're gonna hit the notification bell so every single time I upload a video, you will get notification that says, "Hey, California Gardener." just uploaded a new video let's take a look so this here i would say is part two part one was when we cleared the playing area where we cleared everything out this is part two of getting getting the mat set up part three is going to be the tent and then part four is going to be the cedar blocks okay you might get the cedar blocks I might start setting them up. No, that's going to be a separate video. But the, um, the tent, I'm going to go put the other two mats down and I'm going to set the tent up. Like I said, you guys know how to set up a tent, so you shouldn't have a problem with it. I'm going to show you what it looked like afterwards, inside and out. All right? All right, you guys be blessed. And again, this is your California Mojave Gardener saying, please share my videos with other people. Please do, especially if you think you can't start a garden. You actually can. If you don't want to put up four mats, put up one mat and just give one of them little uh, blue or white little pop-ups and just pop it up. Stake it down. Put a mosquito net around it, or you can just put, um, you can go online to get your mosquito net. Or you can just, um, you can actually get it from the company that you buy the pop-up tent from. You go online to their actual website, and they usually have them if you need them, and you can actually pop up. Or you can get them little, uh, those, well, we'll talk about it later. Let me go ahead and get off on, on here. You guys be blessed and have a good day. Nothing but love.